Hey guys, welcome to Figure Fantasy, and we have here Dio Chan, and we're going to be discussing her build guide, and we'll be starting off with her skills. So, skill-wise, or before with the skills, she is, by the way, if you haven't noticed, she is a specialist, and specialists tend to either have um, average damage or great damage, but I think she's going to be doing average damage because she is going to be concentrating on attack speed okay so she has intermediate attack speed boost 50 percent once you level up two and three her ultimate guys by the way is going to be carb moon and clouds pattern it's a very long ultimate dio chan deals damage to the current and uh, to current target and boosts her own attack speed by 57% for 5 seconds. So she has her own built-in booster for attack speed. At level 2, attack speed bonus applies to all allies in the current row. So you could boost um, the attack speed of two other um, figures in that row. And level 3, each time an allied figure, including herself, unleashes an ultimate, her passive will be triggered one time okay moving on to her passive flowing tresses at the start of the battle and while performing basic attacks so definitely she needs to get out that basic attack as much as often okay the target will be inflicted with a mark each time an allied figurine deals basic attack damage there's a 25 percent chance to deal additional burn damage to that mark target the chance is subject to the accuracy bonus okay so if you want to trigger this this is now 25 percent if you uh, add more accuracy uh stat to her she's gonna increase that chance so if you want to build her with more accuracy we'll talk about it later so the upgrade effect is boost the triggering chance by 10 of the passive by 10 percent so by leveling her up to level two this is going to be 35 percent but again, you can increase this later. Level 3 boosts the damage by 20% and subject to basic attack power bonus. Last one is her special. So Delicate SJ, the current basic attack target, takes 12% more damage. Boost attack by 5 and attack speed by 10. And the current basic targets takes 18 more damage. So that is usually very, very basic. And uh, let's move on to her parts. Okay, so as for her parts, we will be using a, a, a quick attack set, obviously, because we need her to have the quickest attack as possible to trigger her passive. And take note that she will need a critical set with that. Okay, so and also um, just to, you know, just to mention this. You will be needing really an internal nightmare badge. This gives her attack speed by 10. Basic attacks have 21% chance to bounce lighting off four times. And each dealing damage equal to 80% of attack. If you don't have this at this point, let's take a look at the other badges that you can use. Okay, so the other badges, if you don't have that, will go straight to... You can actually uh, have this again if you're going to if you want to increase her accuracy bonus by 25% this is the way to go if you don't want to increase her attack speed uh, the other option is also this one this one is basic attacks have a 30% chance to deal extra damage equal to 160% of attack this one if you don't really have any to equip her with and the other option is this one uh end time ambition badge so boost accuracy bonus by 14 effectively increase trigger and control chance so these are your options my recommendation is still the previous badge that was equipped to her okay guys so on my final thoughts for diao chan um i think she's she's going to be fun to use um especially if you need more um she's with galitea by the way so if you need more, um, you know, any more reinforcements for Galatea, she would be a great addition to your team, especially if you have SSX already. 
uh, and all the other uh, militaries that you have with Galatea, she's going to complement them uh, in a very nice way, especially if you're creating a burn team, she would be welcome in that. So I'm not sure if if uh, she's going to stay long with Galatea. You might have better options, but if not, if you don't have, she is a best. Um, she is one of, you know, not one of the best, probably one of your uh, go-tos if you don't have much figures at this point. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.